okay, don't worry. Hey guys, it's uh, Jackie M, and we are in for another treat with two South African guys um, cooking Malaysian food over in South Africa. We have Liam Garney from the Muddle Pantry, who's over uh, near Cape Town, and we've got Paul Gray, who's near Johannesburg, and they're going to be attempting to make a Penang Chao Kui Tia, all right? If you know me, you'll know that Chao Kui Tia is actually one of my specialty, but uh, not the Penang version, so I'm very, very curious to know how this will turn out. And guys, don't forget, say hello in your chat and let us know where you're watching from, and do a hashtag live if you're watching this live, and hashtag replay if you're watching a replay of A Touch of Malaysia in south africa so guys uh paul paul is still sorting himself out so liam <laughs> say hello <laughs> hi everybody welcome 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 back if you've watched this before and yeah today's exciting we're, we're going to be doing penang chakwe tiao the one and only chakwe tiao is the penangites you know i i, I watched mm -hmm. a lot of everyone yeah. else do their do their version but you know penang chakwe tiao come on that's where it's at so, <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know what i have to ask did you actually grow up eating it in Penang, um, Liam? Yes. You did? Yes. yes because you yes. know what? I'm, I, I've met so many Malay people who, when you mention Cha Kui Tiao, they have a completely different idea of what Cha Kui Tiao should be like. Yeah. I actually, yes. yeah, to them, Cha Kui Tiao is like a Malay-style Cha Kui Tiao, and they have this Cha Kui Tiao basa. It's a wet Cha Kui Tiao, which looks absolutely nothing. It's like braised noodles. looks nothing like Cha Kui Tiao. And to them, that's Cha Kui Tiao. But it actually tastes really nice. But I was really quite yeah, shocked because I think if you're Malaysian, you would know what Cha Kui Tiao is, right? And I posted yeah. it on Facebook, uh, on YouTube one time, and a Malay guy responded and said, that's not Cha Kui Tiao. I was thinking, what about it? It's not Cha Kui Tiao. What? But yeah, they have a completely different idea of what it should be. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, go on. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a George, I'm a Georgetown boy, so I grew, I very much grew up with the Chinese version. Um, but yeah, I look, look, I mean, again, Penang is one of those places where you, it obviously it's very Chinese orientated and very much a lot of food is, but obviously there's a large portion of the population that, that don't. Um, eat Chinese food or, you know, especially not having pork. So the versions I've had in Malaysia are either the Chinese version, which is the one I'm making, or usually there's the Malay version, which is more like the KL version where they use um, uh, fish cakes and things like that. And so it, the texture is quite different, um, but the flavor is generally the same, I think. The flavor, you know, ultimately the sauce is pretty much as it is. There's sure. nothing in the sauce sure. that's porky. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, but we're, this, is, this is a Georgetown version. Okay, Georgetown version, guys. So, uh, yeah, again, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Got a couple of people say hello, but uh, it doesn't show up their names. So, guys, if you look at that post where you're watching this, it will say uh, give StreamYard permission Sorry, to display your name. So, if you just click on that, we'll be able to see instead of seeing uh, just Facebook user greetings from Malacca in Malaysia. Hello, how Hi. are you? <laughs> I wonder who that is. Yeah. And we have Adeline, yeah, watching from Singapore. Hi, chefs, Jackie, Liam, and Paul. Hey, great to have you, Adeline. Hi, we are making Penang Cha Kui Tia. And Paul is, uh, you're making a lot of like, um, I think your, your, your microphone is very close to something crinkly, Paul. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just taking the. Are you wearing synthetics today? <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe. <laughs> All right, yeah. Liam, take yeah. it away. Tell us what you're using. Uh, you what's the ingredients? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so chocolate chow is the order. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. You're done. You're sorted. Okay. So there aren't that many yeah, ingredients. Yeah. It's, it's very much a case of, uh, I always think of chocolate chow, it's one of those things you've got to imagine that you're a hawker. So you've got to envision your kitchen like a hawker store. <laughs> Everything has got to be prepped and ready because it's all very quick. So what we've got is, hang on, let me show you. So I've got some prawns, which I've peeled and cleaned, and I'm soaking them in a little bit of uh, water, salt, and sugar. Um, the brining actually helps soften the meat a little bit, and the sugar helps a little bit with the caramelization when you throw them in the pan. So it just gives that little bit extra flavor. Um, oh, interesting. I've, okay. Yeah. Paul, it, it is, Paul it, it, from uh, prawns on the, the show. Sugar, which I've not tried is a little bit of bicarb as well. A little bit of bicarb in the water also apparently helps firm up the Pumps meat a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why. So you just soak it for about 30 minutes or so, and then that's fine. Um, <laughs> From I've got Shalkani, some... Shalkani, Malaka. <laughs> Hi, Shalkani. <laughs> anyway, go <Hi>. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got some lap chong as well. The dreaded lap chong. Okay. This is a love or hate thing. You know, my family generally, uh -huh. they don't like it in it. I like, I like the flavor it gives. 
All right. Um, I've got a little bit of samba ole as well. Did you um, buy the lachong in, in, in South Africa or? Yes, yeah, so you can get it. You can get it. Okay. And what I do is I buy it and I actually freeze it and then just use it as I need it. And okay. it doesn't mean you don't, it's one of those things that you don't use very often. It's quite a rare thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just slice it and it's fine. Um, so yeah. a little bit of samba ole. Now, I actually, as a kid, never had chili in my chakwe tiao. I always left it out. That was my one omission, but I've grown up a bit now. So a bit of chili. Okay. Uh, then I've got an egg, and then I've also got some bean sprouts, some uh, garlic chives, um, preferable to regular chives, just because they're a little bit more robust. And everything that I'm using are actually some snails, <laughs> believe it or not. So because I can't get hold of um, blood cockles, I use snails instead, because I've tried a few different versions of things that you can use, and to me, this is the closest you can have. So. That's my little snail there. I have a friend called Patsy who'll be very jealous. She loves her snails. Is it, and is it on the shelf? No, no, it's been deshelled, and we buy. You can actually buy them in tins here, and they're brine. So ah. you just buy them, wash them off, and they're already pre-cooked. So you can add them right at the end, and it just gives you that slightly meaty flavor. And it's not quite seafood, but it's very similar in texture. So that's my adaptation, a South African adaptation. How interesting. <laughs> Uh, the are the snails movie. from South Africa, or? I think so. Yeah, from I don't know. I read the um, okay. yeah, There's probably some enterprising person up near Joburg's <laughs> collecting snails and selling them to people. <laughs> More than likely. Yeah. <laughs> now, your noodles, no, so, like, were they, did you buy them fresh, or did you buy them dry and soak them or something? Oh, Jackie, you know by now we don't buy our noodles fresh. No, <laughs> no I, but they, they look very boiled. deceptive to me. They look they do, fresh. They do. It's what you do with the dry noodles that count. Um, so, no, so all I've done is I've boiled them for five minutes, drain them, run them under some cold water, give them a good shake, and then just put a little bit of oil over them. Um, not something you can do too far in advance. So I did this about five minutes before we came on. Um, all right. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. And so then, these noodles, well, are they... Two other, oh, two other things. Two other things. Okay. I'm excited. Two, <laughs> I've got some garlic oil, which I basically have, um, I use some peanut oil because again, it's got the high, again, peanut oil is a good choice for this because it's got the highest burning point. So if you don't have a really good, really strong flame, it's a good way of getting it really, really, your wok really, really hot. Um, I've also got a little bit of um, pork crackling in some pork fat, which I've added as well, which will be going in, stop laughing. <laughs> and, then, and then I've got my sauce, which is basically, um, in my sauce, what I've done is, it's four tablespoons of light uh, soy sauce, a little bit of dark soy sauce, some fish sauce, some salt, which is quite important, and some black pepper. And I just put it, you just put it in a little jar, shake it all up, let the salt dissolve, use cast, uh, sorry, sugar as well, one tablespoon of sugar. Uh, cast the sugar so that dissolves easy just shake it up leave it it's a lot more than you're going to need for what we're cooking here today but once you've got it you've got it and it's done and it's easier just to stick to those proportions than try to reduce it down for a smaller amount um, when you say a little bit of uh, thick soy sauce how, how little are we talking about like, so, so a little like bit a, of, uh, just dark soy sauce so about half a tablespoon yeah actually it's like less than half a tablespoon okay I, I like okay. my chocolate chow to be just a little bit pale um, yeah yeah and that's sure, what sure. Okay. And so, Paul, what have you got going on? Let's see. You've got some spring yeah. onions. So, first of all, yeah, I was going to say, so, okay, I've got spring onions for on top afterwards. More importantly, I have some chives that I picked from a balcony. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, I've got mussels and replacements of blood cockles. Uh, okay. So, it would be a good, are they cooked or are they like. Uh, these are fresh, raw. they're in. In the shop. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. You're gonna blanch you gonna them take first. Them out of the shell? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take them out of the shell before we cook them. Okay. okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, someone from well? Penang is watching. No pressure. Uh, no pressure, Liam. But someone from Penang is watching. Oh no! <laughs> it's pretty. I hope she takes you down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that, Paul? Um, okay, so. I couldn't find any type of Chinese sausage, but I realized there was yeah. a cured sausage, so I got some chorizo. Okay, um, interesting. Which, okay. So it, it's not too flavorful. I know the chorizo from Spa. It doesn't have too many like Portuguese flavors, so I think it would be just right. 
Um, yeah, yeah they're, 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 some of the churros, they don't leach as much uh, paprika and stuff like they do ordinarily. So, yeah, yeah some churros are actually fine. Ooh, nice Finally prawns. Finally got some decent prawns. Yeah. Good Thank you, Checkers, for your special. They're okay. <laughs> I was actually going to be... They're, they're okay. <laughs> going to be really bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Super <laughs> snob. Yeah, we <laughs> saw your lobsters the other day. Come on. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to go buy some more, too. <laughs> <laughs> they were yeah, sprouts, I'm just, oh, you know. these are these are bean sprouts they're not the greatest because Woolworths was out so i just grabbed the ones from checkers but uh they will do in a pinch and <laughs> what else do i have okay i'm actually making the sambal oleg fresh because i didn't know where oh. to find it uh i should have actually oh. we should have spoke about doing this before saturday because i went to chinatown on saturday oh okay oh, that's, oh we didn't see that what did what goodies did you buy? Uh, you know, I bought a lot of stuff. Obviously, a lot of chicken powder. I uh, <laughs> bought some, a lot of curry paste. Uh, sorry, curry powder. Lots of noodles, brass noodles. Um, actually, let me just open the cupboard. I can tell you. Um, lots of dried chilies because they're a lot cheaper there. Yeah, and there they are. And, and, more, and more kind of what you need as well. Uh, sometimes the commercial yeah. dried chilies we buy in supermarkets are too hot. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else did I get? Let's see. Mm. Oh, shrimp chips. Obviously, I got prawn crackers. Like, how could I go there and not get prawn crackers? And, um, Jackie, I, I, Jackie, I sent you, you, you've already reviewed his shopping so list and you've judged him accordingly. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> he sends me photos of everything that What's he has. My... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch my watch. If you go into my profile, you'll see there's a video that I actually made. Oh, no, it's not out yet. You'll see on Monday, I've got a video about going to Chinatown. So it's pretty good. Paul goes to Chinatown. <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so you made up and your sauce. Yeah, I see you made up your sauce as well. Yeah, so mine, I did it a little differently to yours. I know I read your recipe, but I decided to adapt it. Adore it. And there's a bit of chicken powder instead of salt, and okay. there is a teaspoon of tomato sauce, as Ooh. well as a, a drop of thick thick soy. I like the thick soy a little bit more than the dark soy in terms of taste. It's 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 the sugar. Yes, it is the sugar. <laughs> it's the sugar. I can't get, yeah, I can't get it conventionally, so. <laughs> And how are your noodles going? I saw you put them, putting them in the pot. Do you want to oh, remember? Don't overcook your noodles because otherwise no, they'll done. tend to. They're done. Oh, perfect! Yeah. Awesome. Maybe just run a I'll little just, bit of just a just drip of oil yeah. on it, and then run it through your fingers a bit, just so it doesn't clog up when it goes in the pan. Mm, like I do with pasta. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. Any any neutral oil should be fine. Um, oh, the one other thing I've got, which I've broken out specially so, uh, for this, is my chakwe yeah. chow. It's my, it's my biggest favorite one. It's been, it's been in storage since now. I've had no need for it. It doesn't quite fit on my cooker, but I thought, never mind. I, I stuck with you. I'm doing it right this time. So the, 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 is again, the bigger the wok you've got, the better. Because you don't want, um, when the liquids and stuff go in, you don't want the whole thing to stew in the liquid. So the, the bigger the wok, the more you can move it around and give it a little bit more flavor from the sides and stuff. So um, ooh, 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 I, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> Too much of handsome guys. I bought yeah. another one. You guys are really serious about your cooking. Of course. <laughs> we live for Seasoned Wednesdays. with prawn crackers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, so I'm walk on. The things that I'm... you learn, snails. A Penang Night of Sorts watching from Melbourne. There you go, Liam. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Yeah, Jeff lives here in for. Penang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, a lot what of people are actually very scared of lead cockles as well, understandably, because they we did go through a period in Malaysia where they were linked to all sorts of things and, you know, lots of bad stomach aches. And stuff. So a lot of people actually don't take the cockles um, or they'll let them cook it with it, but they don't eat the cockles. So this is actually a slightly safer <laughs> version. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's seen blood cockles, <laughs> although they're not the most attractive appetite looking thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get my wok on to get it nice and hot and go in. Okay. Right, I'm gonna do his prep. 
Yeah, yeah, I just needed to get this ball. Like, the sausage. Yeah, there's no such thing, thing as a too hot a wok for this. Paul, <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the and you see them making this, it's usually it's quite terrifying. Usually, it's sitting on top of an inferno of flames. Sometimes they'll have a, a big <laughs> standing fan next to it to blow more air to get the flames going <laughs> even higher. So, yeah, the, the the wilder the better with this. And it's all this theory about like the kind of heat you get, like you know, they some people insist you have to use charcoal flames to produce a decent. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's the idea. <laughs> you go to most coffee stores. A lot of them use these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. Char oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, early key is in the house. Cockles is eighteen ringgit per kilo, and I eat kilos. Eighteen ringgit per kilo. Wow. That's expensive. Wow, that's that's that quite expensive? a lot. Okay. So, Pearly, you know, your fellow, fellow <laughs> chef is going to be judging uh, Liam's <laughs> Penang CKT recipe. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, maybe I oversold this. <laughs> <laughs> that's your lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, no pressure. Sorry, no, did, I want to ask... heard the kind of Penang Char Kway Chow, right? They didn't, no one picked that bit up. Sort of Char Kway Chow. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I want to ask up. for the benefit of the audience, what brand of uh, soya sauce do you use? Um, I Mine varies a lot. Um, it depends on what's available here. Uh, Pearl Bridge, I think it's called, is the one oh, that I tend to, yeah. Because that's what's easily available. Again, not standard, nothing too, nothing too fancy. Um, again, it, it's sure. a case of what's available and affordable. Um, but again, we get a lot of Chinese brands as well. So a lot of the Malaysian brands don't exist here. So we have to make do oh. with whatever comes from mainland China. Um, but mm. I, I would say my palate is not one that can pick up differences in soy sauce. It's soy sauce and soy sauce. I'm not too fussed about such things. Although obviously yeah, some right. of them have a lot, a lot saltier than others and stuff, and, yeah. but it's really a case of whatever you buy, you've just got to try a little bit and see, and then adjust your cooking accordingly. Um, sure, sure. Okay, and guys, don't forget the recipe is on Liam's website. It's actually, themuddledpantry.com. So look up Penang Chakwe Tiao. How do you spell yeah. Chakwe Tiao? Because I notice in Penang they spell it differently to how we spell it over in uh, Surumban. Oh my God! Don't it's ask me. Because I'm, I'm so dyslexic. I don't actually can't offhand remember. It's shocking, I know. But my dyslexia is so bad. I'm like, I, I see the word and I know what it means, but don't ask me to spell it. <laughs> right, Someone who writes as much as I do, it's quite surprising. I'm going with my spelling. <laughs> I spell Kway K W A Y. I notice in Penang they spell it K O A Y a lot. Yes, I'd say, like, I'd yeah. say, yeah, yeah, as if I know, but I'm, I'm taking it as your, you're just like pretending. Your for it. <laughs> just say, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool. um, okay, my 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 rock is really smoking away. It's full on. I'm, I'm, yeah. The side of my face is sweating a little bit for from the heat of it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, are we, are we how are you doing, Paul? Um, we're good. Are you all prepped? Okay, well, you're ready. Are well, you ready? Your... So that we can Sorry, see your face. At... Are you going to shell your prawns? That's the other question. What do you suggest? Shelling them yeah, first? Shell I would suggest yeah. shelling them. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Don't... I wouldn't start cooking until you've got everything ready to go, Paul. Yeah, yeah never mind. Take it back to everybody. First. <laughs> No, because I mean, yeah, it's one of those things. If you turn your back for a second, it, it's over. I'm afraid you've got <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I was telling Did some you... people that what we were making today, and I was like, "Oh, the pressure, the pressure." I was like, "It looks really easy, but it's like, oh no, try to get the sequence right in your head as well." That's the other thing. Um, Although, as you were saying the other day when you were doing yours, that you've seen so many different people, the sequence doesn't actually really matter. That doesn't. Yeah. 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 People were pretty. I was pretty horrified to see how, like in Penang, a lot of them actually add the bean sprouts at the start. To me here in Australia, I actually turn off the heat before I toss in the bean sprouts and fold them in. So yeah, but, which, which would be my preference too. 
I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. see yeah, I don't, cooking the tauge doesn't really make sense to me because it takes away, from my mind anyway, it takes away some of the structure and uh, texture of it. You know, because you want that slight bite of the bean of the bean sprout, and otherwise it's, it's still turns out yeah, yeah, yeah. And likewise yeah. with the eggs, um, I've seen in Penang where they add the eggs very early in the proceedings, and I'm thinking about the the yeah. eggs to be overcooked, but somehow it still works. It's really weird. But, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I add, awesome. I'm like you. I add those things right at the end and just yeah. give it a few seconds to set, and then flip it and give it a good shake. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Christina watching from Perth. Yay, love chocolate, yeah. I know, right? It's like oh, one of the hard to go wrong with chocolate, yeah. One thing you want chocolate. to do, though. What... Yeah, go on. I would argue chocolate so in, on my on my list of favorite noodles is is probably up on second, which is what's, what's first? Number one. What's the first? Oh, first, uh, dried wonton meat. Oh, oh okay. love okay. a good yeah, dried yeah. wonton <laughs> meat. Oh, favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There used to be an amazing make... place in Polatikus Market where they used to pour like a thick sauce over the top of it as well. Oh, it was so good. Was. So, the, oh, the, so good. there's one I had in Penang. I don't know if it's Polatikus, but they have two sauces. One's that thick um, translucent sauce, and then they have the normal dark sauce as well. But the, the thick oh. sauce helps to grip the noodles, you know, makes it like, yeah. It's yeah, really yeah, nice. It, it's almost like a bit like the yimi that we made the other day, that sort of consistency, and it just worked so well. But uh, I've only ever had that once. It, it used to be in the back of Blutchkos Market where there's like some hawker stalls and right, right, right. Into, next to the dodgy meat section. <laughs> so you had to, you just had to sort of turn your back a little bit and eat your noodles and not think about what's <laughs> yeah. going on behind you. <laughs> it's a Malaysian way, right? right? It's Malaysian for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, guys, uh, with Chakwe Tia, if you're running a food business, this is my pro tip, okay, with running a food business. Because I used to sell chakwe diao as one of my signature dishes at big events. And people would line up for a mile to, to watch you cook it fresh and serve it up fresh, all right? And then, like, invariably, like, being, you know, the, this sort of environment attracts a lot of people who try and co copy what you're doing, right? But they don't have the wherewithal to cook everything on the spot fresh. So what they do is they, they hire these big giant Bay Maries, like hot food bars, and they pre-cook all the noodles and they dump them. And they think that they can go through and serve portions faster, but then nobody wants like noodles that have been sitting oh. in a hot food bar. Hours. That's not chow no, kuei tiao. Especially chow kuei tiao. Chow kuei tiao is a cook and eat it, you know, five minutes yeah. from plate to food, that, to mouth. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essential. I mean, it's not even something that I would recommend tapawing home from a hawker store right. because you get back and you just say it's not the same. No, it's got to be fresh. It's got to be heated, especially the, the bean sprouts. If you once you reheat it, the bean sprouts just leach water into your noodles. It they, they turn into a soggy yeah. mess. Even when I sold chakwe tiao and I had leftovers to bring home, like the next day they're just horrible. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know well, how people. Chakwe tiao is a friend to no one, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had, I've even had Aussies ask me if I sell chakwe tiao frozen because they like it so much they want to buy yeah. frozen. <laughs> oh. I know. It doesn't work like that, guys. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. You could yeah. sell it to them, but it wouldn't be doing anyone any justice, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, so, like, that's the thing about hawker food. It really, uh, you know, pretty much all hawker food needs to be cooked fresh and eaten fresh. That's why yeah. they don't really lend themselves to catering geeks even, right? Because once you yeah. live overseas from Malaysia, people think, oh, Malaysian food, I want to order some Malaysian food for catering, you know, for my birthday party. No, it doesn't work that you, you really like, yeah. you'd have to pay me a lot of money to show up in your house and cook it fresh. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can't yeah. really have me like deliver it in trays of like, yeah, yes. Yeah. Think, think of satay, chocolate, yeah, all this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, some I things mean, work like nasi lemak and stuff. Raw Malay food or Indian food will work fine, but noodles yeah, yeah. and stuff, no. And Chinese food actually, as well. In fact, I actually yeah. avoided making Chinese food for years because I, I couldn't get my head around the fact that I would have to cook so many dishes for dinner and serve them all at once. Uh, it, it was just, <laughs> it, I couldn't get my head around that because it's one of those things, it, it sits there, it's not the same. So, you know, if you know Chinese food is cooked, it's out the kitchen, it's on your table. So I, I've had to learn to sort of adjust my menus to sort of be able to do a few different things to kind of cater for that. But yeah, yeah it's yeah, yeah. tricky, really tricky one yeah. to do. Um, yeah, yeah. I think That's this right. pro, I think 
I think this prawn was an anorexic because there's like nothing in the digestive tract. <laughs> oh, that's good. Cool. <laughs> You've got to believe in prawn. Yeah. 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 Okay, prawns are ready. Okay. Uh, for, and for, and for one dish. Enough for demonstrative purposes. Sorry, I don't yeah. know how to help with that. Here are the things well, you can try. I need help. I need help. The eager Google Assistant. Okay. Uh, okay. So, how are your muscles, Paul? Have you peeled them, or have you have you shelled them? I'm just about to. Let me okay. just. I feel yeah. I'm, I should have done a little bit of prep beforehand here. No kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this. The thing is, I thought this would be too quick. Like, because the thing is, it's like a five-minute dish, and I don't want to turn an hour program into like you know. <laughs> some of us up at six in the morning, peeling up prawns. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? There's two types of people in the world. <laughs> and you're the other type. Yes, yeah. this screen and that screen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that wasn't pointed at Jackie for some reason. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> you realise, Paul, by the way, that no one's seen your face since we went live because <laughs> you got your camera pointed okay. down. <laughs> okay. I still love your face. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How ridiculous! How ridiculously tall he is that you can't fit him within the camera frame. No, he can't. Sadly, yeah. I know. We're all midgets. It's either the food or me. Make your choice, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys. <laughs> Put it to the front. I laugh. I come out on top. <laughs> then you guys are not in the right place. <laughs> Yeah, who wants to know about the food? Come on. <laughs> We're here for the men. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure there's some people who think that way. All yeah, right. But enough, sorry, it's interesting that okay. Paul's using the, the muscles. So actually, we get a lot of very good muscles in South Africa. Very, very good. But they're actually quite hard to get hold of fresh. Um, they're quite, I mean, when I first moved here, the fresh ones were virtually unheard of. So it, they usually get exported or they freeze them or they do like a half shell thing. So they do like a half shell with the muscle on and then they do like a gratin type effect on it. Oh, so okay. a lot of our muscles are actually frozen with the shells, um, which is which is really annoying because there, there's some really good muscles very close to where we live kind of thing. Um, and you, you, you can forage them illegally, uh, which I've done once or twice. I shouldn't be admitting to this. Um, I didn't <laughs> yeah. know at the time that it was illegal. It did oh, taste all the sweeter when I found out that they were. Um, but yeah, it, it is a shame. because, we, we, And again, we get very good oysters here as well. That's one other thing. We have a, we have a town called Neisner, which is um, on the east coast. Snobby little coast. place on the east coast. Amazing, amazing <laughs> muscle. Uh, um, oysters, some of the best you okay. can get. And okay. Mm -hmm. I do like a good oyster. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Paul, how are we doing? Mm, we are good to go. Okay, let's We're do this. Okay. Right, sure. Let's do okay, this. Okay, let's get this going. Okay. My wok is volcanic. I'm just going to leave the camera like that. Is that so like heat? Tell me what you can like, Is that from the heat, the, the white bits? Has it gone like white hot, I, literally? I think so. <laughs> it could well be. <laughs> Okay, let me bring all my bits over. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to add too much. This wow, that's a hot one. That's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's mega hot. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sue Ann. Sue Ann's in the house. Huh? Okay. Sue <laughs> Ann. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of the um, pork rind as well. Uh, all right. I'll hold my tongue. <laughs> now, are your pork cooked? Because they look pretty. No, they're not. I've got the right to cook pork. I guess you just said that's hot enough. Uh, oil, the potted noodles. Add my noodles in. When do you put 
Oh, yeah, you used garlic oil, never mind. Yes. Mm. So, Liam, you're using garlic oil in lieu of, like, minced garlic, is that right? Yeah. Well, I like to use the garlic oil because it just makes it a bit easier to avoid burning. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to add my lap tongue as well. Cool. I don't, I don't like to add my lap tongue when I do the prawns because it does have a propensity for burning. So you just want to let the fat render a little bit. Did you pre-prepare the lap tongue in any particular way beforehand? I, I don't actually eat no, uh, lap tongue. I so literally I just know. slice it. Okay, okay. Because I've seen people like talk about like steaming the lap chong or whatever to soften it and all. You don't need to do all that. No, I think if you're going to um, cook it in something, then it's not necessary. Um, okay. But if you're doing right. it like with, with a right, clay pot rice or anything like that, it's not really necessary. Um, sure. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, add a bit more sauce. So just to repeat the sauce ingredients for everyone, it's a uh, light soy sauce, four tablespoons light, light soy sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah, a four little bit of that. Light soy sauce, uh, about half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, uh, a right. little bit of um, salt, a little bit of fish sauce, and some caster sugar. Okay, sure. We'll give it a good shake till the sugar's dissolved, and voila. Okay. As again, as Jackie, you would know very well, you do not want to add too much sauce. You really want to just yeah. rather add it as you go along. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, yeah, I always stick with the two tablespoon recipe. I'm surprised you went with the white. Uh, come on, let yeah. I'm surprised you went with the white cut noodles, Liam, because I thought being a Penang boy that you would look for the thinner variety. No, I prefer this. I have to be honest. I, I think it's got a nicer bite to it. Um, wait, wait, wait. You're saying, you're, you're saying the, the southern version of char kway teow noodles is actually better okay. than what they use in Penang? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I'm all about <laughs> saying maybe. maybe on camera. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm actually off camera, so you can't prove it was me. Okay, okay so I'm adding yeah, no, a little I'll bit more oil. I'm going to add my egg. Cool. Well, what sort of noodles are yours? Are, are they the same as what Liam's using? You tell me. I don't know. I, um, I didn't get to see his noodles. Yeah, they they went in the pot too quickly. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. I'll show you the packet in a second. Where did I put my egg? Oh, there. Behind the grater. I don't know why I took a grater or not. Hmm. For some reason, I thought we were going to need a grater. <laughs> Karen says, I normally add my fish sauce last to help create some wat hay. Um, then top it. Yes, we haven't even got to wok hay yet, have we? That famous <laughs> wok hay. <laughs> yeah. So hard to get. You know what, I'm like a, a, a hack you can use is uh, one of these flame torches. Ah, yes. Yeah. Wouldn't that be considered cheating? <laughs> no. It means just <laughs> <laughs> Jack says, is the ready made pre mixed chakwe tiao sauce better to use to fry or is it better to mix this? It's better to mix the sauce yourself, Jax. I've got my, you, yeah, my recipe is on online as well, or Liam's got his recipe on his website. But yeah, apparently, from what I understand of the ones that you can buy that's ready made CKT sauce, they're really lame. So I hear anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, yeah, it's, I not, it's not like oh, the but... ingredients for the sauces are, for sauces are actually that hard to source either. That's the thing. Exactly, so exactly. It's not like you're hard trying to get some exotic ingredient that you can't get, so it's easy to buy the ready-made. So exactly, it makes sense exactly. to me. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look, he's even got the banana uh, leaf thing. 
Wow. Hank was saying, <laughs> really looks like real Hawker CKT. There you go. Um, and yeah, the whole banana. Yeah. Thing, that, the way, that worked like, out well. <laughs> <laughs> In, in, in Penang, I noticed they do use banana leaves sometimes, but in my they part do. of Malaysia, I didn't know about having chocolate gel and banana leaves. That was a little bit, yeah, wasn't something I'm yeah, familiar but, with. But, but this, is, this is Penang for you too, I mean, let, or Malaysia generally. So you get your little plastic hawker-style plate, and then if they're really lazy, they then put a little bit of plastic over the plate, <laughs> and then put your chocolate gel on top of it. So they don't have to wash it, they just pull, off the, pull it off and you're done. <laughs> Um, I know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if they still do that now, but, it, but certainly in my generation, that was the thing. Like in my generation, they used oh, to yeah. use newspapers to wrap. Oh, wow, there you go, Paul. Nice. Mm -hmm. so, Paul, mm -hmm. did you use uh, Liam's sauce recipe? Like, yes. So well, no, no, I changed it up. No, he changed did. it up. He, he got a little bit of ketchup, manis, and a little bit of chicken powder, and some tomato right? ketchup. Mm -hmm. Which we're not we're not even gonna to touch the tomato ketchup additive. <laughs> why, why did you put ketchup in it, Jackie looks confused. Just, a little bit, just, <laughs> just like a half a teaspoon because it helps to just like get that balance of thickness. I don't know. That's how I like it at least. I tried Isn't it the other it day. Ooh. I like it. I know, right? <laughs> 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 Singapore will love you for that. Singaporeans have a, uh, a tendency to add ketchup into their noodles. The, uh, oh, really? Singaporean <laughs> wonton noodles, right? They add ketchup in it. And it horrifies I Malaysia. I, I know what I'm not ordering next time in, <laughs> I'm in Singapore. Oh, <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. No, no, it may be great. Let, let's not judge. He, you know, Paul may be onto something here, but... We'll let him experiment on his own. <laughs> I'm not, I was going to say, I'm not saying put like a bucket's worth. Just a little dab. <laughs> just, uh, okay. can, you, can you show oh, us sorry. again, Paul? Yeah, sure. Sorry, I was oh, just starting the next batch. So um, it looks good, though. Is that tomato? Yeah. What's that red stuff on it? Yeah, yeah. is that the chorizo? Yeah, this oh, is the chorizo. The Okay, cool. Right, right, right. Sure, sure. I don't see the I, I chives, sir. No, did you put oh, the chives in? The other end, yeah. Let me just grab a spoon. There's one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chive. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any chives. That's because there aren't any chives. There's just chive. <laughs> cool. So you're going to cook another batch of you, uh, Paul? <laughs> I am indeed. There you go, Adeline. Says, yeah, Liam, your CKT looks very Penang, very authentic. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm relieved. I really am. But I have to say, <laughs> the wok smells amazing. I have forget the food. For some reason, the wok smells really good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to distract myself from the food. Yeah. The um, mm -hmm. uh, Paul, did you um? I was going to say, yeah. I, I don't. I, can you actually like if you're cooking it again? Can you actually point your camera to the wok so we can see what goes in there? Yeah, I just put too many things next to the damn wok. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Yes, we want to blow okay. by blow. I mean, yeah. How's that? That's fine. Uh, I'm going okay. to turn on okay. that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, did the light help? <laughs> Liam's going to judge you now. Um, I know. I've got my seat. I'm perched waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just testing for lighting purposes. Makes no the difference. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you're doing makes zero okay. difference. As long as you can see. Okay. Let me see. just no, finish. Okay. <laughs> Let me just quickly reshell a couple more prawns. How's the weather, guys? <laughs> 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 You're gonna have to be better to distract us than that, I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, it's Cape Town. Weather is like the number one topic. <laughs> true, true. We are probably getting a massive storm in, so yeah, we'll see. Huh. Yeah, I was gonna say the thing is, I can say to you, how's the weather at the start of this and at the end of this, and it'll be two different answers. <laughs> Oh, completely. No, totally and utterly. We get, especially living out here in the village, it's very confusing. You think it's one thing and it turns into something completely different. Yeah. You go out walking in shorts and a t-shirt and regret your life. 
I, know, I, I must say, I always err on the winter side first. I, I, I like to have more clothes on than not, so I tend to overdress and then think, oh my God, it's just too hot, crazy. Yeah, me too. No, I'm that type of person that I was like, I was known at university for being in shorts and t-shirts all the time. I think growing up in Malaysia, I, I got my fill of shorts and t-shirts, I'm afraid. Any opportunity yeah. for long shorts and Although I always find it funny in Malaysia that, again, we, we all wear shorts and T-shirts all the time, but we have obviously our winter clothes. And the moment the temperature drops below 30, everyone wears their winter clothes. <laughs> Sweltering away, it was like, oh, so cold, but swear. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what's, the, what's the average temperature in Malaysia in, like, summer? There's no 35. summer. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no summer. summer. In the period... <laughs> In the period between the, October the and period. January. <laughs> no, our, so our hottest period is around Chinese New Year. So like our, mm -hmm. spring, um, mm -hmm. our sort of autumn time. And yeah, but it, it's more muggy than anything else. Uh, but the temperature yeah. is usually quite consistent between 30 and 34. But it's the mugginess that gets you. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And I used to hate it whenever you used to write. Back in the day mm. when you used to ride back from the UK before Penang got like air bridges, you had to get off the plane and then walk down the steps into the open air. And it's a, you know, having been like on an airplane in Britain, and then you get out and you're just like, oh no, <laughs> oh, it hasn't changed. It's like someone just throwing wet towels at you. Oh, just, yeah. That was my first experience in Dubai. It's like <laughs> we got there and you know, you're inside the whole time, air bridge, whatever. So you're not worrying about like temperature at all. It's like all controlled. And then there's like a gap that you walk from like out of this one sliding door to the next or whatever. And you step <laughs> into the Dubai heat and it's like 12 at night and you're like, how is this warm? <laughs> well, what I find funny about Dubai, when I, so we go to Dubai quite often, so this is, this is a toilet conversation. But when you go to the bathrooms <laughs> and you flush it, the water is hot. That's what I don't understand. You can actually feel the hot water. And you think, oh my goodness, how hot is this place? No, it's crazy. Um, I know my chocolate towel is getting cold, and I guess I know this is this is this is the bug. This is what I have to bear. I have to take yeah. a picture of it, so I have to just sit here and smell you, it. And... Are, are you taking a picture with your phone, or do you have a? a my, I'm, I'm, well, that's been tricky since I'm talking to you on my phone. So, oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm just getting. I'm getting someone else's phone. Then I then I can partake. Okay, <laughs> Right, I think I can right. eat live for a change. <laughs> Do it. Okay, I've got my prawns ready. Let's get this picture. How oh. long? I think. How many prawns are you peeling, Paul? <laughs> oh, I was just struggling because, like, my fingers are big and the prawns are little. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. I'm ready to go when you guys... Oh, wait, hold on. I used up the charms. Okay, picture taken. Get to eat. <laughs> okay, tell us how it is. I'm going to try, try your sauce recipe next time I make chocolate. Here. Not that I ever make it at home anyway, because... I literally, for those who don't know, don't like I said, these are my resources. dishes. I, I have personally cooked over 100,000 serves of chakwitya. So when I come home, last thing I think is like, oh, I feel like yeah. some chakwitya. So over it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's different, but obviously, when I go to Malaysia. You know, I, I want other people to cook for me, but I don't, I'm not compelled to cook my own chakwitya when I come home. <laughs> 19th October watching. Yay, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> Paul <laughs> is still fumbling with his prawns, I gather. No, 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 yes, a, a very long to... lag. If you were a hawker <laughs> by now, <laughs> there would be very People long gone to another walk store. Okay. That was the sound of a walk turning on, so prepare yourself. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm trying one of my snails, by the way. Okay, cool. I'm curious. Like, were these snails like um, in any like were they in brine or were they in oil? What were yes. they in? Okay. Yeah, they're in, they're in a brine. Um, okay. 
So you just could have rinsed them off That's as the always. Um, but I mean, they're, they're fine. They're not. Mm, I mean. That's the worst. That's the worst thing a live snail would want is brine. You think they really want to be salted up? <laughs> <laughs> it does seem a bit counterintuitive, doesn't it? To, to salt a snail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Snail, I'm going to become a snail's rights really? activist here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say? Mm. Mm. Is that yeah. actually on, uh, Paul? Your your walk, your yeah. stone? Yeah. yeah. Can you? Know? It's bubbling. Okay, now it is. Yeah, sure. That's a fair bit of oil yeah. that you got in there. Yeah, I'm going to pour a bit of it out now. Brown mm. square. But I still haven't figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> a good tip always with the oil is, as Jackie showed us before, is if you take your spatula and you just dip in a bit of oil and then sort of fling it around a bit, then again, you're not getting too much mm -hmm. of it. Um, yeah, yeah. Now oh, I can even hear it. Can you guys hear it? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pour it the next I would throw most of that oil away and then... Yeah, because it basically, if you want that, if you want that wok, wait, Paul, do you know what wok hay is, right? Do you know? That thing really gives a lot of crispiness. Well, it, it's like more that. like a, it's flavor. Um, it's that sort of, yeah, yeah it, it's, I don't know. I'm not sure the exact word. Yes, that's yeah. it. And so oil, like is the, oil is the enemy of wok hay. Too much oil doesn't get it for you. Um, yeah, I gather. Mm. And that's why also it's it, like it, it's great again if you have your noodles in. It's better just to add a little bit of oil, and also always try to add it mm -hmm. to the side of the pan, not to the center of the wok. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, some nice smoke on there though. You can tell yeah, none of us yeah. have smoke detectors. South Africa again, because South Africa hashtag. Because South Africa, yeah. Who needs smoke detectors? <laughs> <laughs> and if we do, I can guarantee you most of them have batteries in them. Yeah. yeah. It's like, guys, come on, you can see the fire. How could you not get that right? Like, you don't need smoke to detect it. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? What have you got in there? Have you done your chorizo? Not yet. I'm putting it with the, I put it with the pork because it's already cured. So, you know, I just want to get okay. a bit of a. Oh, okay, yeah. That's a chorizo. Yep. Yeah. It's the first time I've actually added any sauces to CKP. Uh -huh. See how that goes. Your screen's frozen up now, Paul. Oh, okay, it's back yeah. on. There you go. Now maybe add a little bit of your sauce did, as well. Uh, yeah, I'm about I'd to. Drizzle a little bit of oil like, back in there too. Yeah, I was going to say, I would, yeah. I would also add a bit of oil as well, just around the sides. Um, no, don't pour it. Use, use your ladle to drizzle it. Uh, yeah, so literally just dip your ladle <laughs> in it, so like just the corner, and just spin it around. And then, um, like, drip it. Okay. I'll remember that for the next one. <laughs> I can hear the nice, there's a nice sizzle going on. Yep. And if you can see, I don't know. Oops. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Ah, we can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, no, on no, our previous the... in black. Yeah, it looks much better like this. Yeah, that's much better. I was going to say, okay. there's, um, yeah, but I need to <laughs> control both of these things. Um, one of the things is that you can't see that there's like a nice little char on the chorizo. Okay, how's oh. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. You could use a bit more noodles. The ratio of noodles to the uh, what we call the yeah, lean. Yeah, I was gonna say, and the ratio of noodles to me is also a good question. Like, how's that gonna pull me up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, normally, oh, well, I don't know if it's changed, but certainly when I was a kid, the standard um, uh, prawns that you got was usually three prawns. And that was it. That was, if you, you know, that was like the basic option. So, yeah. Um, but again, if you wanted more noodles, then it was a bit, bit extra. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you got a fourth, a fourth, 
<laughs> Have you added your sauce yet? Yeah, a little bit. Can you... Okay, cool. You can oh, really I can see, see the color now. Okay. But as you can see, a it's, it's, it's much lighter. Color-wise, it's much lighter than what we made previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More in line with what um, Penang CKT looks like. Mm. Mm. I don't want to align myself to anywhere. You have yeah. to take a flight, Paul. <laughs> don't worry. When you when you go to Malaysia, we'll take you to all the places, and then we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I'll take I'll take a side that I know will win me a lot of favor. Not sing a It's going to be the rumba. Come on. <laughs> First time in the world that he was going to choose the Ramban over Penang. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> uh, Attack him, Jackie. Put him in the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> uh, uh, the power of the wheels. <laughs> how, big, how big is Walker food in the Oh, it's, 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 it's big. It's there. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> underrated. It's grossly underrated. It needs me to go back and really promote the hell out of it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you can give your egg a good crack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, there's a bit of a, you know, I don't want to mix too much. You know, when you mix an egg too much, it gets like. Okay. Yeah. yeah, at this you stage, to, like, it's actually a case of your flipping the noodles, not. Um, agitating them and the trick also yeah. is when you have your walk is you basically want to move is you want to move your walk and your um, spatula at the same time so you're not really actually damaging the noodles quite as much um so get this yes. thing daddy <laughs> and then have you then it's just bean sprouts and try it and you're done mm -hmm. that is it Wait for it, wait for it. Oh. And this time, don't forget. You're being to give enough a bit stuck. Hang on, are those, those, they are look, those like a alpha sprouts? Yeah. Or they actually uh, didn't I tell you the uh, stuff? No, they are bean sprouts, but they're like half grown. I don't even know. It's just the only thing they had available yesterday. Oh, well, they are anything. bean sprouts. Okay, so yeah, so th yeah, that that's false marketing. <laughs> Not quite bean sprouts, yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. We always were stuck out, and I was quite sad about it. Well, I actually was worried that I couldn't get bean sprouts, so I actually tried um, growing my own. But I, I sadly was trying to do it from Monday onwards, so I didn't have enough time. But actually, my little bean sprout baby <laughs> are sprouting. They got the little tails. And, yeah, so I, I'm hoping it works out. It's actually very easy. So you, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you just need dried mung beans and you soak them and you put them in a Coke bottle with some holes in a black bag and five days later you've got bean sprouts. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hoping it's it was a thing beans. during the COVID, like when the COVID shutdown occurred like six months ago, it seemed like everywhere on Facebook everyone was trying to make bean sprouts, grow, grow bean yes. sprouts, because apparently there was a shortage well, in Asia. Well, yeah. I, I, I don't know whether so they, they thought maybe bean sprouts would be like a low-hanging thing to teach people to do. It's like high satisfaction with very little effort. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, we've all tried our spring onions and yeah. Although I was very chuffed. My spring onions have actually started flowering. Who knew spring onions oh. flowered? Yeah, they right? do. Yeah. They get that nice little, like, Did salty. you grow them from like stumps or did you grow them from seeds? Yes. No, from stumps. Stump. From uh, little okay. stumps. And they're uh, full on... And it gets like this little sort of weird white flower at the top, and oh, very pretty. Yeah. yeah, it looks almost like um, not a lily. I mean, not a lily. Um, a, a sauce of the pea, the white one with the yellow center. I'm trying to think. I'll grab one. Hold on. Bear with me. One second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they look they're so cool looking. And now we have. <laughs> Show us. Does it look Where's the same as the Oh, wow. That's a massive. Yeah, it's actually really awesome. sweet. What the hell? Fergie's probably going to tell me that they're toxic at this stage or something <laughs> like that. They should have been harvested <laughs> long oh, ago. Wow. But it's pretty. 
<laughs> Paul, can you hold hold both bowls of uh, noodles up? Okay, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well done. See those charms. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And okay. whatever you want to call those tell us how it tastes. Okay. To be fair, though, you've already bastardized the recipe, so you can't really give a you have. I, 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 I have no ownership of what he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll become the, the, the most popular international or non Malaysian chocolate tea cooker. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Wait, your camera? Mm -mm. So you added ketchup manis in there, did you say, Paul? In lieu of mm -hmm. the uh, dark soy sauce? Okay, I guess that will cover mm. the sugar aspect oh, as well. Apparently in lieu of the sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Ketchup. Who adds ketchup manis in lieu of sugar? Don't tell her, Liam. <laughs> don't, don't tell her, <laughs> Don't tell don't tell so, her, so, Liam. So just burst your bubble. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Does anyone know Paul doesn't take sugar, so he he's <laughs> on a mission to avoid it, but he's not doing very well. <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. It's, 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 it's a massive case of self. I break it on Wednesdays for Malaysian food. <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken a bite? You're just doing it now. Yeah, can you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that your dad's hand? <laughs> yeah. Get your dad's hand. Your dad's like, I'm hungry. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. He's already eating his portion. <laughs> Get his take on it, what he thinks. Like, So you put tomato ketchup, you put uh, ketchup manis, and mm -hmm. you have this light soy. And did you put salt in it? Salt and pepper? No, I no, no, no. I put white pepper and I put chicken powder. Okay, chicken powder in lieu of salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. Chicken powder doesn't have to go in everything, just so you know. You can do you salt. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the makers yeah, I'm, of that chicken powder deep. brand must be like, God, we've got such a spike in sales in, in South Africa all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to like... Like pump a whole bunch of it to like Chinatown or whatever, and then I'm gonna move, and they're gonna be like, "Oh damn it, we have a surplus <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> How is it, Paul? So how? How? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, how is it? Very good. The thing is, there's okay. nothing quite as nice as when you get a bit of the noodle that's crisped up. Mm. Uh -huh. It's like crunchy bits. Mm. How does it compare mm. to the other recipe you were using that was adapted from mine? I don't want to uh, lose any favor with Liam, but I like the original recipe. <laughs> uh, it's fine because you're not actually cooking my you're not actually cooking my version, so it's fine. <laughs> All I'm hearing is you prefer Jackie's version over your own, so that's fine. <laughs> hey, Once again, just 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 saying. People, who's <laughs> voting? Come on, <laughs> come on, come on! You know. I think I think the Where's sugar the is the ingredient. To be honest, you know, the one tablespoon <laughs> of sugar in there is a secret ingredient yeah. in the chocolate deal, right? That definitely no. Of just, that, just that little bit of caster sugar actually just gives it a little bit of charred flavor, and yeah, again, mm -hmm. and again, that's the whole point with the prawns as well. It just sears it a little bit, and yeah, it's. But I, I, I can look at my prawns and I can actually see they've got a little bit of chard on them, which is great. And not too much, but just a bit. Sure, sure. So again, with the prawns, you pre-soak them in a little bit of like salt and sugar, did you say? So, uh, salt, sugar and water, um, just for about 30 minutes, that's all. Um, 30 like I said, minutes. There was a thing about bicarb, but I've not tried that before. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, I've tried that. Mm. I've tried that before, it works really well. Oh, bicarb. Okay. Well, bicarb is but to me, it pulls out some of the prawny flavor, which is, uh, yeah, mm. I like prawny flavor. But, uh, yeah, me too. I can't remember if it affected the flavor. Yeah. No. Ask, it, ask your dad which one he prefers, Paul. Oh, he's already buzzed off. Um, oh, okay. Let me, let me <laughs> he's he's out of there. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Let's get the final review. <laughs> uh, I 
culinary tour. We're going to pull everyone together. Oh, you guys, if you guys want to travel with us, <laughs> all right, once the lockdown is over, we're all heading, heading over to Malaysia. We're going to travel all over and hunt down all our, all, all our favorite street food. <laughs> <laughs> say, we, yes, come, come, come with baggy good. pants because you're gonna need a sec. You'll need a second pair by the time you're finished. I know, <laughs> uh, right? Yeah, Big time. I know, but it's so. How, how do you choose? That's the. I mean, when I go back to Malaysia, I normally draw up a little eating schedule. So if I have a week <laughs> divided between breakfast, lunch, snacks, supper, <laughs> and I just work out exactly what I want. I Everyone mocks me, but you know it works. You know, I don't miss out and. No, 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 I know. It's ridiculous. That's too much food. So what did your dad say, Paul? Teddy can't remember well enough the original one. But he said this one wasn't bad. I'm wasn't still bad. Bad. We'll go with not bad. <laughs> <laughs> that means like a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Seven out of ten. <laughs> I'm trying to think like, yeah, how different mine, my sources is quite... Because the the way Paul made my sauce is quite like you know, I guess he's he took some liberties with it as well anyway. So I think it'd be quite different. I think you also did. Well, but you know what? To That's what recipes are there for. I mean, to to me, you can't be too pedantic about certain recipes. Yeah, yeah. And you know, everyone has their own quirks and what they want to do. And you know, um, so long as you're not trying to sell it to somebody as something but your own take on it that's cool i mean yeah go for it i say and well, they're, let's be honest, they're we, all we, all, up we all look up Jackie's recipe and be like yeah 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 okay but no thanks for the starting point but we're off <laughs> I'll well there goes me opening up <laughs> there goes me opening up my penang chocolate tiara stall in <laughs> penang <laughs> you can, but there'll have to be a very large asterisk next to it in terms and conditions <laughs> underneath explaining exactly what you mean. I haven't been to Penang and never tasted it for real. <laughs> but as far as I know, this is right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think him being white will get him a long way in Malaysia. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I know. Shame. There, there's, there's the Mat Saleh sort of, oh, shame for Mat Saleh. He's trying so hard. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I know. I know. You're, not, you're not quite judged by the same standards that we are, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're hard. Well, take that so, to Liam, you, you're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yes. I can always say, I'm Irish. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> it's the Irish half of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, Paul. So, I am uh, all done. Mm -hmm. cool. I'm all done. Okay. <laughs> did you actually take a photo? You didn't, did you? Who, no, me or Paul? Paul, no, I don't think you did. <laughs> Paul, yeah. <laughs> Guess you have to cook a mental photo. photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you can't really That's what's going to be for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow it's an hour already okay I know. Yeah. Thank, yeah, I know. Mm. thank you so much for uh doing this guys so uh i hope to see you guys again next week yeah yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely all right fabulous thanks everyone for tuning in and uh look up liam's recipe at the and we'll see you all back in my facebook group uh yeah this time next week all right ciao <laughs> bye bye, bye. <laughs>